I'm doing a probably half an hour to more, maybe more than an hour coaching session with Deftly. Trying to teach him the ways of the Dong, because apparently he's meta now. But a lot of the more unique, more, you know, creative strats on 8.11 are not coming yes! through, but that! Heimerdinger for Attila. Is cough, yeah. We're going down the rabbit hole. Is this the yeah, yeah, first yeah. pick, the Braum? <laughs> but here's, of course, the, the Yannan. Oh, there it is! Oh, okay. oh. Let's go. He's so oh, fun. Yannan! Loving this. Yannan, though, picks up the Heimerdinger for himself. Hop right into a 1v1. Just to right. see how you're playing, I guess. Alright. If you're going bottling, you're gonna take heal, right? Or TP? I usually take TP. Alright, well in that case, take ignite. <laughs> For your runes, I usually go very with nullifying orb, absolute yeah. focus scorch. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty much the way to go. Do you max turrets or do you max W? I max turrets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, max turrets. This max turrets in this one. We want to see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Aerie's like the safest uh, keystone. I think they call it. After Aerie, it's pretty much electrocute and comet are like pretty close. I mean, comet. I feel like is there's no. Yeah, electrocute is really good against melees, because one auto attack from you and your turret, and then an ability will proc it. See, so that's the, see. I already know you're not using your W properly. Did you see how I hit W on you? I spread it out yeah. like this, right? Oh, so that the area okay. went from the area was, and the thing is, the hitbox gets bigger at the very end. See how I pretty much dodged it, but it still hit me. The area gets a yeah. little bit bigger when you spread it out. Anyway, oh, I haven't been putting okay. turrets down. Oops. <laughs> and the other thing is, the most important thing is actually throwing your ability first and then putting a turret down like that, and then you put a turret down. So the, it's oh, harder, what the fuck? Yeah, it's harder to predict. Because when you put a turret down, I know you're going to throw an ability at me because you want the laser. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to throw the ability. It works with W as well. Like, you just kind of have to... Right? And, like, you put a turret down, I'm just going to kill it. Like, this is what's going to happen in balling. If you just put turrets down randomly, they're just going to kill it. Right? And how do, how do you keep your turrets alive? So yeah. you only you only put them down when abilities are in the air. So like right like that like I just throw it and then I put one down. Right, I missed that because I'm bad, but <laughs> you get the, you get what I'm saying. That. See that? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's and you're fine. doing W max as well. It's definitely W, dude. Turret max is garbage. Like it's actually garbage unless you're against double melee. Unless you're against a melee jungler and a melee top laner or a melee support and like some bruiser. Like, here's the thing, dude. Turret max. Uh, makes it so you have to hit your grenade to do damage. Your turrets don't actually get a lot of base damage when you level them up. They're all AP ratio. They, their base uh, damage is like 2 or 3 or some shit per level, right? And the AP ratio on it, they're like nuts. You can also kill creeps, like what I just did there over here. Like, I, I killed the creep with a, my W, and then W went through and hit you, right? Right. Because, basically, the only important W that you have to hit is the first W. If you hit one W on someone, that's like 70% of the damage. The other Ws are kind of just like a luxury, right? I, I can kill you with grenade all here, you know what I mean? It's kind of like... Wait, really? Yeah. You want me? You want so me? you're saying I, I can just spread the W out like this? Yeah, if you hit one, like here, like watch, I'm just going to chase you down. I mean, try to dodge it. Try to dodge this, ready? Okay. It's impossible. It's literally oh, impossible, and it, and it does 70% of the damage that, you know... Uh, Wait... Yeah. Let me try it now. Yeah, try to dodge, but like it's impossible. Like, like you're covering from oh. here to here, and you're gonna hit one. That one is gonna proc scorch. It's gonna proc airy. It's gonna proc pretty much everything. See how I'm killing creeps while hitting you with the W? Because I only want to hit one. That's all I care about. The other ones are extra. It doesn't really matter if you hit them or not. You so do you saying? stand to like the side of the minion wave and try to hit the wave plus? Like, Sometimes when, yeah. when creeps are low, you can kind of, like, people just don't expect it. Like, oh, I'm hiding behind the creeps, but your W does so much damage to creeps, right? The other really, really good combo is just, like, let's say you had half health, I could probably kill you by doing this, okay? You put a turret far away, unsuspecting, right? And you just throw the grenade ult, and then you move up and put a turret down as, oh, as, okay. your, as the grenade ult is bouncing. So every single grenade ult bounce also charges the turret's um, laser, right? So Every even, bounce yeah, so, but it'll only do it once per turret, you oh. get what I'm saying? So you could it, yeah. potentially put three turrets down, right? If you're like fast enough, right? But obviously- I, I always try to hit all the missiles. That's the war- Okay, uh. so that's only good. That's only good 
if you want to get a, a turret laser from it. Do you get what I'm saying? The only reason uh -huh. why you would want to hit all five missiles is because it'll charge... Each missile charges 20%, so five would be 100% of a charge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. So the only time... So, like, for example, let's say you're standing in, in like, stand next to your cannon but not like not too close to it okay. so like let's say oh. i want to hit you with five w's so that i can charge my turrets laser right but the cannon minion's in the way so if i right. stun you here and then i flash to w to hit all five it'll shoot the laser again do you know what i'm saying like uh, but if i just okay. w you there the cannon's gonna soak up one or two missiles so my turret will be left at like 80 percent charge and it won't shoot another laser i didn't even know that it had like a charge thing i thought yeah it, it's, hit me with like hit, hit me with like one or two missiles like spread them out so i can only get by one or two look at your turrets charge See, you hit me with like three, so it charged 60% right there. Uh, okay. So that's pretty much it. If you want to dive people with alt turret, auto them first and then throw the turret down. The turret has very far range, but you have to auto them first. Sorry. You have to auto them first because it won't hit the fucking person unless you autoed them before. You get what I'm saying? Wait, even, even it, after you put it down? Oh yeah, you have to hit them first. That's the only way your turrets will aggro. Okay, can I get you a kill here? Get you some money, oh, get you some gold, yeah. dude. Get you some okay, poverty so I, I gold. Also, okay. I'm confused, like, after Ludens, what do you build? So, there's, like, a few paths. Rylize is fucking great right now. Um, just because it gives 90 AP, 300 health for so cheap, and your turrets proc it constantly. Um, mm -hmm. The thing about Rylize and Ludens together is especially good because the you'll hit someone, right? So they'll be slowed by Rylize. Like, you, you just hit them with a W while you're chasing. They'll be slow because right. Rylize. The Ludens will pop, and then it'll slow everybody in AOE again. So it's it's like a double Rylize slow. Uh, the the Rylize okay. slows for one second, but with Ludens it slows for two seconds almost because the Ludens will pop and then proc the Rylize again. Do you know what I'm saying? Do your turrets proc Ludens? Um, okay. Your turrets lasers proc Ludens. So your turrets auto attacks don't proc anything except for Ravenous Hunter and uh, Gunblade healing. Um, oh yeah, sorry, they proc Rylize, of course. The turrets auto attacks proc Rylize, right? Like, um, here, I'm, I'm gonna put one down, it's not gonna hit you, because I didn't auto you yet, you know what I'm saying? Once I hit, once I hit oh, you with an auto attack, that's when it starts autoing you, and now it's gonna target you again, because I've hit you in the last, like, 10 seconds with an auto attack. That's why you do not want to auto attack people pre-level uh... 3. Like, pre the first cannon wave, you don't want to hit them, because they can, this is what they can do here. Okay, auto me. Auto me. Alright, I'm just gonna run away. Now, Diagro, now watch this. I'm gonna walk back in. And you, these these creeps are gonna aggro the fuck out of oh, me now, right? Yeah, like it's just disgusting. Me. And all I have to do is take one turret hit, which is gonna take like 20 damage off of me. But you're gonna take like 50, 60 damage in a creep wave, right? So that, and that's and like people learn to do that when if they know that mechanic. I don't know if that's people that I play against. I think they know how to do it. I don't know. Anyways, that's really important. Um, oh, I definitely didn't know that. Okay. I'm gonna start doing that against Hyrens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, get Doran shield. You actually heal off the turret hit, and then he's just. <laughs> Like, it's disgusting. Anyway, um, what were we talking about? Items, right? So, Rylize is a good second item. If It's, like, decent against most matchups. Like, you can't really go wrong with it. But if you have to, you have to go Zhonya's, go Zhonya's. If you have to go Banshee's, go Banshee's, right? Like, you, you, you're smart, right? You know when to do each yeah, thing, yeah. right? Like, it's, yeah. You can kind of get away with being safe on Heimerdinger, except for, like, some matchups like Aurelia, Talon... You know, Karthus, the matchups that are just going to do damage to you no matter what, you really need the defensive item. <laughs> oh! Oh, okay. Oh, He's doing it. Uh, what was I saying? Your turret's so tanky. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so the other thing is, what do turrets HP scale off? Do you know? You don't know, uh, right? No. It's, it's really... So, until level 11, they don't scale off AP. They don't scale off um, the level of the turrets. They scale off your level. Right? Oh. So at level 18, they actually... And the AP ratio for the turrets scales up by your level 2. So until level 11, your AP ratio does nothing to the turrets. But after level 11, the AP ratio gets higher and higher. So right now, the AP ratio on it's like decent. Like mine is getting a plus 100 uh, HP at level 18. Because I have 250, right? And that's why if you're a high level, like if you've been soaking solo lane EXP and you have like death cap you can solo baron at any time literally any time you could solo it anyway so the other items you can get other than a defensive item or rylize is uh, morello obviously if you just if they have if you're the only magic damage threat you're getting morello right so like simple as that you sound like i'm killing things like killing your turrets killing creeps and hitting you with a w at the same time 
Yeah. Just kind of like trying to snipe through them. That's you gotta get used to that too, especially in like bombs. God. All right, dude, it's time. Only W's, ready? Only W's. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, yeah, let's do it. No R W. No, no, no. Only W's. I have my R. But... Oh, you can also uh, do this. You can also. Woo! You're clean. You can also W and then flash to reposition the W. So if I'm here, I can kind of like do that. Oh, See what that the? Shit? Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to get used to that. That that one's really important. Like that one, you'll do it. If... <laughs> <laughs> you'll get used to it. Practice mode it. Play against some bots, you know. Just spam that shit. I'm gonna get you. No. Right, you... Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, see, fuck. you see how it's like when someone's one HP, you literally only have to hit one miss. Like I spread it like this. I dude, sometimes I'll literally do this, dude. I'll literally <laughs> cover the whole lane. Like I feel like that, that's hard to hit. No, it's no, so it's bad. no. Dude, okay, yeah, don't spread out the whole lane, obviously. But you know what I mean. Like spread it out so that if they flash to the side, it'll still hit them. You know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Like okay, are you still watching my my character? Let's say they're in the bush. Yeah. Let's say they're in the bush, right? You want to cover the whole thing, but you're not here. You can't like do this, right? You're on the side yeah. of the bush. Let me just clear these freaking- Oh no, wait, you need to see the shit. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're gonna wanna spread it like uh, like this. You're gonna hit them. Like, it's they can't dodge that. It's impossible. Alright, go for it. Okay. I'm a Teemo, dude. It's, oh, it's just I impossible. Like, it's actually just impossible to dodge something like that, right? That's that's pretty much it um, for the W mechanics. Um, oh, also you can- Oh shit, I wish I had flash. You can RW and then flash in the first wave. So you can send one wave in one direction and then flash to send the other three waves wherever, like like Wait, Lucian coming. Hey! <laughs> All right. See, so I did see the how, w right there. Yeah, yeah, see how much easier it is to actually hit the, like even a brainless, disgusting Heimerdinger man can't miss that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Twin Shadows is actually a really, really, really good item for I think competitive in general, especially on Heimerdinger. Right. It's, it's, it? it's 2,400 gold for 70 AP move speed and CDR, and then Twin Shadows. Like, stat-wise, it's already more, like, as efficient as any other AP item, right? But if you, like, if you're very heavy on AD and you know they're not gonna get magic resist, then, um, you definitely want Morello. Also, if you need healing reduction, you definitely want Morello, right? Like, you, yeah. Yeah, yeah That's... like against the Dr. Mundo or something. Right, or just any ADC with, like, any lifesteal item at all. It's pretty much just, like, a mandatory thing. Um, because Morello is just fucking good. AD, or sorry, HP, the fat amount of AP and magic pen, it's just too good. Um, and then the other thing is death cap. Second is actually really nice if you do a certain room page. So if you go um, absolute focus with eyeball collection and uh, ravenous hunter, if you do that room page, death cap second item is the best. Hands down. And I'll tell you why. Really? I'll tell you why. Look at your turret stats right now. See it says attack cannon? That's the auto attack, right? right? Mine says 18 base damage plus 180 magic damage. So the base damage is like nothing. But the, the AP ratio that it has is so nutty that your turret's auto attacks, they have a 0.3 AP ratio. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Like that's kind of yeah. insane. Like, that's why I'm saying a level 5 turret does 18 base damage. It's pretty much like there's no point leveling the turret. It doesn't make it do more damage, right? It does like yeah, 3. Yeah. But the AP ratio on it is so insane. And uh, the, here's the crazy thing. Ravenous Hunter heals you from your turrets as if they're single target entities. So you get the full healing from Ravenous Hunter. Oh, wait. That, that's actually really strong. Yeah, that's why I'm saying even at level 1, it's even if, like, 0 stack Ravenous Hunter, you're healing, like, 1 or 2 HP early game, like, every single time it hits something, which is just, like, free HP regen at that point, right? And, uh... I'm actually gonna try that. No, no, no. It might be better than Young Inspiration. Which is why Electrocute is so much better than Sorcery in a lot of different matchups. Just because of Ravenous Hunter, uh, Taste of Blood, and Eyeball Collection, like, in general, you know what I mean? And that's why I like going Absolute Focus with Eyeball Collection, Ravenous Hunter as secondary, sometimes. Um, because with that combo, you get like 100 free AP, right? From runes, when you max out Eyeball Collection, you max out abs er, Absolute Focus, right? Uh, that's 100 free AP. After Ludens, you get Death Cap, you're, you're sitting at like 450 AP at like 20-something minutes, if you can, you know, farm well. and That's... 
that's easily solo baron. Like, that's easily solo baron while, while people are fighting you level of AP, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, it's hard to do a lot, but the thing is, Heimer scales so well off AP that you can actually just sit on the needlessly large rods and it's not like a detriment. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people, a lot of champions... Oh yeah, wait, wait, let me show you here. So let's say there's a champion. Let's say you see that Poro next to you. You see that Poro over here that I'm standing on. Let's say that's, that's yeah, a yeah, champion, yeah. right? And it, he okay. has okay. It's fucking this champion's. There's two. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm, let's just say I want to hit that one, right? I'm gonna hit it, and I'm gonna flash over here to finish oh. like, someone else off. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, but see, look, you can only do it after the first and second wave. Um. All right. So what, what else is there? Um. Oh yeah, items. Death cap. So I would only do that death cap build. If I'm doing Electrocute, with Eyeball Collection, Absolute Focus, like, you need the runes for it, right? Because then it just makes it so much better to have those runes. Um, other than that, if you're going to be doing the Magic Pen build, grabbing Scorch and Airy or Comet is much better. Because, mm -hmm. right? You can also do Gathering Storm if you want the Death Cap build, but games are lasting pretty short, so I don't I don't know about the... Gathering Storm is just eh, right? Like, nowadays, yeah. it's really eh compared to Scorch. Especially on Heimer, where... I, like, you can be standing there, like, put a turret down or something, put anything down. Just, let's say, like, that's like, your tank in front of you. Ah, oh, fucking hell, I hit the cannon. <laughs> anyway, I'd hit the turret, it would proc Luden's Echo, Luden's Echo would hit you, it would proc Airy, it would proc Scorch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're, it's you're, actually a lot. Right, and also, uh, Luden's Echo procs Rylai's and Leandri's in an AoE around, right? Mm -hmm. So if I hit, like, Scion in front of you... The back line is going to get hit by Rylai's and Leandri's slow, which means the Leandri's is, or sorry, Rylai's slow and Leandri's burn, so they're going to burn for twice as much as well. Um, right. And also, every time you put a turret down, you get 20 stacks on uh, Spell Echo on Ludens, which is why Ludens is really nice. Like a full Wait, combo, you can yeah. do two Ludens procs. You get 20 stacks for that? Yeah, each time you put a turret down. <clears throat> oh, well, today I learned. Fuck. Yeah. So, like, I can just kind of, like, oh my God. try to hit that and look at that, right? It hits you with Airy, hits you with Scorch, hits you with Ludens. That's why it's, like, so good to do um, the Magic Pen build with with um, with Scorch and Airy. The Death Cap build is better with Electrocute, again, because I think uh, Taste of Blood is just OP on Heimerdinger. Like, Taste of Blood is such an easy... Does it proc off your turrets? Yeah, yeah, procs off everything. Your W, oh, your turrets, okay. yeah. Which is why it's really nice. Anyway, let's, uh, let's hop out. Let's do another... Let's hop in a Summoner's Rift 1v1, because you want to play an ADC, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's hop in the, the Summoner's Rift.